for seven and five, struggling a little bit, um, as the president alluded to. Is he uh, blind? But we found our rhythm. <laughs> we got on the roll. Not a lot of people are they all uh, blind? You know, think that we could have won. <laughs> and um, in fact, I think about forty percent of the people still don't think we won. Oh shit! Uh, you understand that, Mr. President? I understand that. Yeah. White boy summer. You know, White boy nice summer. To be back here. Eat. Wow. We had a game in awesome. Chicago where I forgot what down it was. I lost track of one down in 21 years of playing. And they started calling me Sleepy Tom. Oh, <laughs> shit. Why would they do wow. that to me? <laughs> See, I think awesome. he's just making fun of them. He's had the Trump hat in his locker room. He's friends with all these bajillionaires. I think he's making fun of the fact that he doesn't know where he is. Did you get that one, Mr. President? But I know Ben Banks is going to come out defending Joe Biden here. No, no. I think that that, that was just funny. I mean, you gotta you gotta have somebody roast somebody like uh, we. I, I, the one, th my one criticism of Trump is that he never did the uh, whatever that press. What's the press night where they where they get the comedian on stage to make fun of him? He like can't. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the correspondence dinner. dinner. The yeah. cheap correspondence dinner. So it's like we need that. We need somebody to just call Joe. Like if if he wants a chance at anybody even liking him, he needs to sit there and laugh at how retarded he, or stupid he is. Sorry. <laughs> I That's think you where can he draws the that. line. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He can't um, laugh at how stupid he is. He doesn't remember anything. He doesn't remember what he, how's he How are you going to laugh at yourself when you don't even remember what you did? This is true. Are you they're just tell they're right telling. Now? They're telling him to laugh in like a earpiece. They're like, laugh. It's okay. Um, I think they canceled the correspondence dinner for COVID last year. I don't know who they're going to have on. Trevor Noah, I think, is probably one of those people oh. that they'll have. Um, who, funny. who's the other one? Seth Myers, just like anyone who's gonna kiss we ass. You have Jane Gillis, yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, like, right. Have someone who's actually gonna roast you and like make it sort of cool. Like when they had, like, I, did anyone who roasted Trump? Was it, uh, it was that female comedian Michelle, Michelle Wolf? Wolf. It was so was cool. That, that tension was pretty cool, but like they, they'll just have someone that like basically like half agrees, but just like they'll, the points that they'll be like roasting on will be like. Like they whatever. should have Rogan. Like Rogan should do it, yeah. or like Chappelle or something. Dude, Michelle Wolf wasn't even funny, dude. She was just saying all the stuff that they had already agreed with in her whiny, high pitched voice, and everybody's <laughs> clapping with her. She's like, "Hey, yeah, 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 and we like abortion." Yeah. You're like, "What the hell are you saying?" Yeah, she yeah, loves yeah. abortion. You know, um, she was. Uh, she <laughs> why does everybody like, love abortion? As if it's like fun. Wait, can, can I just say though about Tom Brady really quick? Um, yes. Wh whoever wrote this for him, it, I mean, really huh. nailed it, right? I, I don't know if it was, you know, obviously Tom Brady didn't tough. write that stuff, right? But I think we're, we're, what they did right is it, you don't know if he's roasting Trump or if he's ro roasting Biden. So that's almost like how it's supposed to be, right? I mean, we got so used to just everything robotically orange man bad or, you know, more accurately – uh, Joe Biden, absolutely awful, you know, alphabet soup, can't put together a sentence type of stuff. We've got so used to, like, so hyper-partisan, like, rhetoric that when, when somebody toes the line and you don't really know who he's roasting, it's like a pleasant surprise almost, you know?